when it comes to open source coding models code stroll in my opinion is the best coding model in open source at the moment other open source coding models like autocoder and then there are heaps of others they're also quite good but where code stroll shines is how easy it is to use it and it supports more than 80 plus languages even the obscure ones from the olden ages so if you're looking to uplift your legacy code i believe code stroll is the way to go i already have provided a couple of uh, consultancies to few of the companies who are looking to uplift their COBOL, Fortran and even Lisp code from like 30, 40 years ago. And they are very successfully upgrading their code by translating that COBOL code into languages like Go, Python and JavaScript. So if you are looking to refactor your code, uplift your code, translate your code in a secure private way, code stroll model is the way to go now how to run it locally i already have done few videos where i have shown you how to run it locally on windows and linux but for the purpose of this video we will be running this code stroll with the help of olama and then this is olama and to use it with your ai powered applications i would highly suggest you use llama index so we will combine all these three stuff Olama to run the model locally, Llama index to create your whole AI powered LLM applications around it, and then code stall for the models. And when these three awesome technologies meet, great things happen, and we will see those great things. Before I show you how to knit these together, let me give a big, huge shout out to Mast Compute. They are the people who are generously sponsoring these videos with their virtual machines and their awesome gpus so if you are looking to rent a gpu on discounted prices then i will drop the link in video description plus a coupon code so if you use that the link and the code you'll be able to get 50 percent of discount on few of the gpus and in my recommendation if you are looking to run these models locally this code locally without any login with a lot of flexibility speed and performance Mast compute is a very good option let me take you to the vm which they are sponsoring this is the one where i'm running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card of 48 gb of vram and i'm using nvidia rtx a6000 let me clear the screen i also have conda installed which keeps everything separate from my local installation let me clear the screen and let me create the conda environment i'm just calling it vim let me run it that is done let's press y here and that is going to create the environment now you can activate that by simply doing conda activate your environment name and you will see that in the parenthesis on the left hand side let me clear the screen so, so far so good let's install a couple of uh, llama index modules let me run it it will take too long this is installing llama index for you and meanwhile this happened let me take you to olama and show you how to install olama this is olama website just scroll down a little click on this download and then as per your operating system just click on it i'm using linux and then in order to install olama all you need to do is to run this command and if you're still struggling, I have done heaps of videos around it. So please search the channel and you should be able to uh, install it without any pain. Okay, let me go to my local terminal. So Llama index is installed with Olama integration with those two commands. Let's clear the screen. I already have Olama installed. So if I do Olama list, you will see that code stall is already present on my system. Now, if you don't have it, simply run Olama run code stall and it should download that code stall model on your system code stall is a 22 billion uh, parameter model but the conta is one which olama uses is around 12 gigabyte as you can see on the screen so make sure that you have that much space i already have it installed so i'm just going to clear the screen so we have code stall now we have llama index and we have olama installed all these three things are there let me fire up my python interpreter and see that in action how can we knit them together 
So this is my Python interpreter. Let's import the libraries which we have installed. You see, I'm importing Olama from Llama index and I am importing the chat message from Llama index. That chat message is just for our prompt template. Let's initialize our Olama model with Llama index. I'm just calling its Olama function, this one, which we have just imported from here. I'm, I am specifying code stall model and I am saying that if it is unable to reach to it in 30 seconds, then give the error. That is done. So it means that if you are unable to access Olama, it will give error at this point. Let me give it a prompt. So I'm just asking it to write a function for Fibonacci and I believe it uses Python for default because I haven't mentioned any language. You can just put in anything here. Now let's get the response out of it. Let's wait for it. It don't take too long. It is just getting the response from the local model. That is done. And there you go. So you see, because I didn't mention any uh, programming language here, so by default it goes with Python. And the assistant or in, assistant is our code stall model. It has given us this code and then it has also given us the synopsis of that code how good is that let's try out another example where i'm just going to ask it that okay tell me something about llama index i'm just going to press enter a couple of times and then this one is that i'm just going to ask it write a function to build react pipeline using llama index let's send it to our model which is which is locally running code stall Let's wait for it to come back and then we will print the response out. There you go. So we have the response back. Let's print it out. And there you go. Let me scroll up a little. So assistant it says, it says install the required libraries. So you have to install this because the rack pipeline it is using PDF it seems. Then it is importing these libraries. And then it is defining the rag pipeline in this function at op set your open api key load the direct file from directory or set initialize llm this is a service context vector store and then it is also telling us how to use this function what to replace and then how to call it and then at the end a summary of the uh, code which it has produced how good is that and of course you can um improve your prompt by saying that okay i don't want pdf i want text so it is going to use that one and it is a bit older version of llama index but still good enough because that is what code stall was trained but all in all you see that how easy it is to knit o llama code stall and llama index together and after you can simply embed this code stall with the help of o llama in any llama index based application Llama index is very flexible. You can even use Mistral's API with that if, instead of Olama, but that would be API based then. And in the future videos, I will also cover it off. That's it, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.